Our friends at St. Louis Magazine are not wasting any time. They've already put together a list of the 10 most anticipated restaurants in 2021. Dining editor George Mayhe is getting us amped up for some good eats this year. George Mayhe, it is always a pleasure to have you on Show Me St. Louis. Thanks for coming back. Well, sure, anytime, anytime. Uh, we, we all know 2020 was, was tough on restaurants, but there's a lot to look forward to this year. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, the, the last uh, six months, you know, owners were felt dejected. Now they're, they're basically hopeful. Uh, and coming into January, uh, there are as many restaurants that are supposed to open this January as last January. So that's a positive sign. One that just opened that might be the most fun one of the group is called Taika Shabu Shabu. Shabu Shabu just means hot pot. And this is out in Olivet and they've got uh, induction burners on at the bar. And then at the table, they have sterno fired uh, hot pots, which is basically, you know, you're taking meats and vegetables and putting them in a special broth and each shabu shabu restaurant has a different broth. Anyway, it's kind of like a, you know, a, a different form of fondue, if you will. You, you take the meats and vegetables, cook them and then dip them in different sauces. Great fun, just opened last week. Sounds delicious. Uh, a lot of people are talking about Tony's. What do you know about Tony's? Yeah, Tony's, um, it, it was interesting because they never opened, reopened after after March. They said, you know, we're going to wait till we move out into Clayton. Tony's opens uh, on, on January 26th. And uh, basically, if you like Tony's before, you'll like Tony's again. It's the same food. It's the exact same staff. Uh, but the surroundings are, are vastly different. I mean, it's really it's just really a a, a a sleek space and they've got this patio which isn't built yet but it's going to have louvered a louvered roof and walls that drop down then about you know a few yards to the to the east is casa don alfonso which is in the ritz carlton taking you know that it's going to be their main restaurant and it's spectacular in its own right it's light and bright and airy and a lot of whites and beautiful Italian tiles. The, the Don Alfonso family is a, a Michelin starred family from uh, Italy. And this is their first uh, restaurant in the US and it's right here in St. Louis. So expect big things from Casa Don Alfonso. I think that opens in March. Okay, let's talk about something totally different. Max Local Eats. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be the craziest story. So Mac McKenzie, who's got, I think, the best hamburger, the best smash burger in St. Louis, says he's going to do a food trailer and people just went crazy. He hadn't bought it yet. Now he's purchased it and he said it's going to start rolling in the springtime and he's given it a name. The, the name is the paddy wagon, of course, right? But yeah, I just thought when he told me that, I, I just burst out laughing. I thought that was great. What about uh, Ucraft? What do you know about that? Ucraft. It's a BYO, as in build your own bowls and sandwiches and wraps. They've got another store out in Clayton, but they're putting a store downtown, you know, before the offices have opened back up, really. So they're going to get their delivery and, and pick up uh, platforms kind of ironed out. And then when the office workers come, they'll be ready to go. Lots going on always in, in, in the restaurant business, uh, especially now, because uh, I think, like I said, I think the attitude is, is hopeful and everybody's very optimistic. Yeah, I'm just glad there's good news to talk about. Thanks, okay. George. Absolutely. Check out the article, The 10 Most Anticipated Restaurants in St. Louis for 2021 on stlmag.com. And we'll also put the direct link on our website, ksdk.com slash show me.